and welcome to Unity Center DC's Midweek Meditation. I'm Kaywood Black sitting in for the Reverend Karen Gray, who couldn't make it today. As some of you know, when I lead meditations, I like to do brief readings interspersed with periods of silence to meditate on the readings. Reading, meditation, reading, meditation, and so forth. Today's readings come from the Tao, the ancient Chinese book of wisdom that is firmly in the mystical camp of all spiritual traditions. So let's take a moment to get settled and begin. We are relaxed and alert. We let go of outside concerns and center ourselves within, in that everlasting divine source and essence, the Christ we are. And we take a deep breath or two, breathing in peace and breathing out harmony. Breathing in peace and breathing out harmony. From the Tao, number 14. Look, and it can't be seen. Listen, and it can't be heard. Reach, and it can't be grasped. Beyond the senses lies the great unity, invisible, inaudible, intangible. Above, it isn't bright. Below, it isn't dark. Continuing endlessly, unnameable, it returns back into nothingness. This formless form, this imageless image, cannot be grasped by mind or might. Try to face it, what place will you stand? Try to follow it, to what place will you go? Know the source, which is beyond all beginnings, and you will know everything here and now. You will know the eternal Tao. The ancient sages and saints were mysterious and profound. Their inner depths cannot be described. All we can describe is their appearance. 
careful as one crossing an iced over stream, alert as a warrior in enemy territory, courteous as a guest, fluid as melting ice, shapeable as a block of wood, receptive as a valley, clear as a glass of water. Who has the patience to wait in stillness until their mud settles and the water is clear? Who can remain serene and unmoving as perfection gradually arises? Those who have the Tao want nothing else. Though seemingly empty, they are ever full. They are present and can welcome all things. Hold fast to the power of the one. It will unify the body and merge it with the spirit. It will cleanse the vision and reveal the perfect light. It will focus the life force and make one supple as an infant. Can you love people and lead them without imposing your own self-interest. As the gate of heaven swings back and forth, can you let the Tao take its course? Can you step back from your own mind and thus understand all things? This supreme power guides without forcing serves without seeking, brings forth and sustains life, yet does not own or possess it. One who holds this power brings the Tao to this earth.
Empty the mind of all thoughts. Let the heart be at peace. Witness everything unfolding from emptiness. See all things flourish and dance in endless variation. Watch their return to the common source, emerging, flourishing, dissolving back again. This is the eternal cycle of return. To know this process brings enlightenment. To miss this process brings confusion and sorrow. Realizing the source reveals the secrets of eternity. Realizing the source, one naturally becomes tolerant, disinterested, amused, kind-hearted as a grandmother, dignified as a king. Immersed in the truth of the Tao, one can deal with whatever life brings. Whoever knows this truth lives forever. The body may perish, deeds may be forgotten, but the one who has the Tao has all eternity. Perfect action, true virtue, supreme power. This is how the Tao is revealed through those who follow it completely. Though formless and intangible, it gives rise to forms. Though vague and elusive, it gives rise to shapes. Though dark and obscure, it is the spirit the life breath of all things. Its essence is supremely real. Its evidence is all of creation. Since before time and space, the Tao is. It is the source of all things. It is the gate through which the universe enters. It is the witness by which the universe sees. How have I come to know the nature of the source? The Tao itself has told me within. It is sounding right here, right now.
knowers of the truth, travel without leaving a trace, speak without causing harm, give without keeping an account. The door they shut, though having no lock, cannot be opened. The knot they tie, though using no cord, cannot be undone. They are available to everyone and don't reject anyone. They are ready to use everything and don't waste anything. This is called embodying the light. A good person is the teacher of a bad person. A bad person is the resource of a good person. Only one who gives can receive. If you don't understand this, you are confused despite your intelligence. Giving and receiving are one. This is called the great wonder, the essential mystery, the very heart of truth. As we get ready to end our meditation time today, as we get ready to leave our inner space and enter our outer space, we give thanks, thanks, gratitude, thanksgiving. Whether we call it the Tao, divinity, higher power, the one presence, the one power, the one mind, infinite consciousness, eternal life, the source of all that is, we offer it our gratitude. And so it is now and forever. Amen. <laughs>